In the words of Marcus Aurelius, waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be, be one. In a world where conformity is the norm, it takes courage and a touch of eccentricity to stand out from the crowd. Welcome to Stoic in Your Life, where we delve into the essence of what it means to be truly high value, beyond societal expectations. The truth is, society often misjudges the unconventional. What is deemed peculiar or outlandish by the masses can, in fact, be the hallmark of the extraordinary. High-value men akin to the Stoic sages of old are not swayed by the fleeting opinions of the majority. They are the modern-day philosophers who walk their path with purpose and resilience, indifferent to the whispers of the crowd. Today we're exploring eight unusual habits that distinguish these remarkable individuals from the rest. These are not your typical success tips. These are the traits that set a man apart, transforming him from a mere participant in life's grand theater to a true connoisseur of the art of living. Join us as we unveil the secrets that make a man truly high value, secrets that resonate with the core principles of Stoicism, and redefine what it means to lead a life of virtue and significance. Purposeful Solitude In today's fast-paced, hyper-connected world, the concept of solitude often gets a bad rap, seen as a sign of withdrawal or antisocial behavior. Yet, there's a peculiar habit that sets apart certain individuals, particularly men who are deemed high in value not just in terms of societal status but in their profound understanding and approach to life. This habit is purposeful solitude. Unlike the common perception that equates solitude with loneliness, these men see it as a strategic retreat, a vital component of their daily lives that fuels introspection, creativity, and meticulous planning for the future. It's a deliberate choice to step back from the incessant buzz of society, to find a quiet space where the only voices heard are one's own thoughts and the subtle whispers of wisdom that often get drowned out in the chaos of everyday life. Purposeful solitude is embraced by those who understand its power to transform. It's in these moments of deliberate isolation that a man can truly connect with his inner self, sift through his thoughts, and align with his core values and ambitions. This practice is not about shunning the world but about enhancing one's ability to engage with it more meaningfully. By retreating into solitude, he can emerge with a clearer vision for his life, armed with creative solutions to problems and a renewed sense of purpose. This habit is a testament to the belief that true strength and resilience are cultivated not in the midst of noise and distraction, but in the quiet spaces where one can think, reflect, and grow. The ancient Stoics, too, championed the virtue of solitude. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, once said, Nowhere can man find a quieter or more untroubled retreat than in his own soul. This profound statement encapsulates the essence of purposeful solitude. It's a reminder that within us lies an oasis of calm and clarity, accessible any time we choose to turn inward. The Stoics believed that it's in solitude where we can practice self-reflection, examine our lives, and cultivate the virtues that lead to a fulfilling and meaningful existence. They saw solitude not as a state of loneliness, but as an opportunity to strengthen one's character and wisdom. For a high-value man, purposeful solitude is not just a weird habit but a cornerstone of his lifestyle. It's how he maintains his mental equilibrium, sharpens his focus, and keeps his goals in sight. In solitude, he finds the space to challenge his fears, to confront the imperfections of his character, and to devise a path forward that is in harmony with his deepest convictions. This practice allows him to navigate the complexities of life with a serene mind and a resilient spirit, embodying the stoic ideal of living in accordance with nature and reason. Moreover, purposeful solitude fosters creativity. It's in the quiet moments, away from the distractions and demands of the external world, that the seeds of innovation are sown. Ideas that could change the course of his life, or even the world, are often born in the silence of solitude. This habit also strengthens mental resilience, equipping him to face life's inevitable challenges with grace and composure. By regularly engaging in purposeful solitude, 
he cultivates a robust inner life, rich with personal insights and a deep sense of peace. In essence, purposeful solitude is a weird habit only because it goes against the grain of modern society's norms. It requires courage to embrace solitude in a world that equates constant connectivity with happiness and success. Yet, for the high-value man, it is a non-negotiable practice, a sacred time to recharge, reflect, and realign with his purpose. It's a powerful reminder that true fulfillment and strength are found not in the external accolades and achievements, but in the quality of our inner lives. As we navigate through the ebbs and flows of existence, purposeful solitude stands as a beacon, guiding us toward a life of depth, meaning, and resilience, much like the Stoics who walked the path of wisdom centuries ago. Mastery of Silence In an era where the cacophony of opinions and the clamor for attention dominate, the high-value man carves out a niche for himself through the mastery of silence. This seemingly counterintuitive habit sets him apart in a society that mistakenly conflates volume with value. The high-value man is acutely aware of the dual nature of silence. It is both a shield and a sword. He wields it with the precision of a seasoned warrior, knowing when to let the silence speak louder than words and when to break it with carefully chosen, impactful utterances. This delicate balance between speech and silence is not born out of timidity, but from a deep well of confidence and self-assurance. He understands, as the Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, we have two ears and one mouth, so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. This principle guides him, allowing him to absorb the nuances of the world around him, to learn continuously, and to speak only when his words can truly make a difference. His mastery over silence transforms it into a strategic tool, especially evident in situations that would fluster the average man. In negotiations, his silence is a mirror, reflecting back the insecurities and intentions of others, often leading them to reveal more than they had planned. It's a dance of patience and perception, where he leads without seeming to move at all. In conflicts, his silence is the calm before the storm a moment of peace allowing for the dust of emotions to settle, making way for clear, rational thought. This approach not only disarms but often diffuses potential confrontations, earning him respect and admiration. The high-value man's relationship with silence extends beyond strategy. It is a philosophy, a way of being that permeates his existence. He recognizes that in the modern world, where the barrage of information and constant noise can overwhelm, Silence is not just golden, it is essential. It is in silence that he finds clarity, strength, and ultimately, his voice. When he speaks, his words are not mere chatter but pearls of wisdom, carefully strung together by his experiences and reflections. This makes him not just a participant in conversations but a leader, someone whose opinions are sought after and valued. Moreover, his mastery of silence allows him to navigate the complexities of modern life with grace and poise. In a world obsessed with the superficial, his ability to embrace silence sets him apart, making him a beacon for those lost in the noise. His presence is a reminder that true strength often lies in restraint, that listening can be more powerful than speaking, and that in the quiet moments, we often find the answers we've been searching for. This habit, though it may seem weird to some, is what makes a man truly high value. It's a testament to his understanding that in the tapestry of human interaction, the threads of silence are woven just as intricately as those of speech. It's a practice that not only enhances his personal and professional relationships, but also enriches his inner life, offering moments of introspection and connection with the deeper truths of existence. In embracing the mastery of silence, the high-value man stands as a pillar of strength and wisdom in a noisy, chaotic world. He is a living embodiment of the Stoic ideal, navigating life's ebbs and flows with a serene mind and a resilient spirit. His journey is a powerful testament to the timeless wisdom that sometimes the most profound statements are made not with words, but with the eloquent silence that speaks directly to the soul. Emotional Intelligence in the realm of personal development and leadership, 
One attribute often flies under the radar, yet its impact is monumental. Emotional intelligence. This quality distinguishes high-value individuals, especially men, in both their personal and professional lives. Emotional intelligence, the art of understanding and managing one's emotions and the emotions of others, is a cornerstone of effective leadership and meaningful relationships. It's what enables a person to channel emotions such as anger into productive action, rather than allowing these emotions to dictate their behavior. A high-value man harnesses his emotional energy to propel himself forward, to resolve conflicts with grace and to forge deep empathetic connections with others. A renowned leader, who, in the face of adversity, chose not to react impulsively with anger but instead paused, reflected, and responded with strategic calmness. This leader's ability to manage his emotions and understand the emotions of those around him not only resolved what could have been a volatile situation, but also earned him the respect and loyalty of his team. This narrative underscores the essence of emotional intelligence. The power lies not just in controlling one's emotions, but in understanding and influencing the emotions of others, thereby holding the key to unparalleled influence and leadership. Emotional intelligence is the silent force behind many success stories, far outweighing the raw intelligence quotient, IQ, in its importance. It's the secret ingredient that enables individuals to navigate the complexities of social interactions, to lead with empathy, and to excel in their endeavors. Elevating your emotional intelligence involves a dual approach, introspection and outrospection. Introspection calls for a deep dive into your emotional world. Recognizing what triggers your emotions and how you react in various emotional states, outrospection extends this awareness to the emotions of others, understanding their triggers, and observing the interplay between your emotions and theirs. This journey towards heightened emotional intelligence is not a quick fix but a lifelong commitment to self-improvement. It requires constant vigilance, a willingness to learn from every interaction, and an openness to understanding the emotional dynamics at play in every situation. By cultivating emotional intelligence, you unlock a new dimension of leadership and personal growth, one where emotional savvy translates into real-world power and success. In conclusion, the path to becoming a high-value individual is intricately linked with the mastery of emotional intelligence. It's about more than just managing your emotions. It's about leveraging them as a tool for growth, connection, and leadership. As you embark on this journey, remember that every interaction is an opportunity to practice and enhance your emotional intelligence. Observe, reflect, and act with emotional insight, and watch as doors open to a world where your ability to understand and influence emotions becomes your greatest asset. Introspection In the journey toward becoming a man of high value, introspection stands as a beacon guiding one through the murky waters of self-discovery and personal growth. This process, deeply introspective in nature, requires a man to dive into the depths of his own psyche, to unravel the intricacies of his thoughts and emotions. It's a path less trodden, for it demands courage and honesty, qualities that distinguish the high-value man from the rest. The act of self-reflection is not merely an exercise in thought but a rigorous discipline that shapes the very core of one's being. To embark on this voyage of introspection is to engage in a dialogue with oneself, a dialogue that is as revealing as it is transformative. It is to ask oneself the hard questions, to face the uncomfortable truths, and to embrace the vulnerability that comes with such honesty. This process is not for the faint-hearted, for it requires a relentless pursuit of self-awareness a pursuit that is often met with resistance from the ego. Yet it is in this very resistance that growth takes root, for without the challenge of introspection, self-improvement becomes a hollow endeavor, devoid of meaning and substance. The wisdom of Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that has stood the test of time, offers a profound insight into the art of introspection. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, once said, You have power over your mind not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This quote encapsulates the essence of introspection, reminding us that the true measure of a man's value 
lies in his ability to understand and master his own mind. It is a testament to the power of self-reflection, a practice that enables one to navigate the complexities of life with grace and resilience. In the modern world where distractions abound, the practice of introspection becomes all the more critical. It is a tool that allows one to cut through the noise to find clarity amidst chaos. The act of journaling, for instance, serves as a mirror to the soul, a means through which one can articulate thoughts and emotions, thereby gaining insights into the self that might otherwise remain obscured. This practice, though seemingly simple, is a powerful method of self-exploration, one that sharpens the mind and fosters a deep sense of self-awareness. To be introspective is to embark on a lifelong journey of self-improvement, a journey that is both challenging and rewarding. It is to recognize that true growth lies not in external accolades or achievements, but in the quiet moments of reflection, in the honest assessment of one's character and actions. It is to understand that the path to becoming a high-value man is paved with self-awareness, with the courage to confront one's own flaws and the determination to transcend them. In conclusion, introspection is not merely a habit but a way of life, a philosophy that guides one toward a deeper understanding of oneself and the world. It is a practice that, when embraced, can transform the ordinary into the extraordinary, elevating a man from the realm of the mundane to the heights of high value. So, let us heed the call to introspection, to engage in the noble pursuit of self-discovery, and in doing so, forge a path toward becoming men of unwavering strength, character, and value, authentically himself. In today's fast-paced world where imitation often overshadows originality, there's something undeniably magnetic about individuals who dare to be authentically themselves. This trait, standing boldly in one's truth, regardless of societal norms or expectations, is what sets certain men apart, elevating their value in the eyes of those around them. It's not about conforming to a mold or mimicking the crowd. It's about embracing your unique quirks, interests, and perspectives, even if they might seem unconventional or odd to others. The respect garnered by such authenticity is profound, not because everyone will necessarily agree with or even like these individuals, but because there's an inherent honor in being unapologetically true to oneself. However, this authenticity shouldn't be misconstrued as a license for complacency or mediocrity. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This wisdom rings true here. Being genuine isn't an excuse to indulge in detrimental behaviors or to refuse personal growth. The essence of authenticity lies in recognizing that while our core self deserves to be celebrated, there's always room for improvement and evolution. It's about striking a balance between accepting your innate characteristics and striving to refine your virtues, skills, and habits for the better. True authenticity involves a deep self-awareness and understanding of one's values and the courage to live by them, even when faced with opposition or ridicule. It's about finding humor in your idiosyncrasies, taking pride in your passions and not dimming your light to fit into someone else's definition of normalcy. This journey towards genuine self-expression is not without its challenges, as societal pressures often dictate a certain way of being or behaving. Yet, it's precisely this courage to stand firm in one's individuality that marks a person as high value. The Stoics teach us the importance of living according to nature, which includes our own true nature. Marcus Aurelius, another Stoic philosopher, emphasized the power of authenticity when he stated, Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. This call to action is a reminder that the pursuit of authenticity is not just about self-acceptance, but also about embodying the virtues that define a truly high-value individual. It's a blend of being true to oneself while also aspiring to the highest ideals of character and conduct. In Embracing Our Authentic Selves we must also be mindful of the impact our actions and choices have on our growth and on those around us. Authenticity doesn't mean stubbornly clinging to habits or behaviors that are harmful or stagnant. Rather, it's about being honest about where we are, who we are, and where we need to improve. 
It's a dynamic process of self-discovery, self-acceptance, and self-improvement, all woven together in the fabric of our daily lives. To live authentically is to navigate the world with a sense of integrity and purpose, not swayed by fleeting trends or the expectations of others, but guided by the inner compass of our true selves. It's about creating a life that resonates deeply with our personal values and aspirations and in doing so, inspiring others to embark on their own journey of authentic living. This path is not always easy, but it is undoubtedly rewarding, for in the pursuit of authenticity, we find not only ourselves but also a deeper connection to the world around us. In conclusion, the habit of being authentically oneself is a testament to the strength and resilience of the human spirit. It's a declaration that, in a world often filled with pretense and imitation, there is immense value in simply being real. This authenticity is what makes a man truly high value, not because of what he does or what he has, but because of who he is at his core. And in this authenticity, we find the essence of what it means to live a fulfilling and meaningful life, guided by the timeless wisdom of Stoic philosophy and the courage to be unapologetically ourselves. No balance to life. In the quest for a life of value and purpose, the concept of balance often emerges as a beacon of hope, a promise of our harmonious existence, where every facet of life, work, relationships, health, and personal growth, aligns in perfect equilibrium. Yet this pursuit of balance, as alluring as it may seem, is fundamentally flawed, a mirage in the desert of our aspirations. The notion that we can evenly distribute our energies across all areas of life and achieve a state of perfect harmony is not only misleading but can tether us to mediocrity. The ancient Stoics, with their profound understanding of human nature and the workings of the universe, recognized that life is inherently imbalanced, that it is the ebb and flow, the constant shifting of priorities and passions that propel us forward. Seneca, a towering figure in Stoic philosophy, once remarked, it is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Life is long enough, and a sufficiently generous amount has been given to us for the highest achievements if it were all well invested. This wisdom echoes through the ages, reminding us that the quest for balance is a misallocation of our most precious resource, time. To devote oneself fully to a goal, to immerse in the pursuit of knowledge, wealth, or self-improvement, requires an unbalanced allocation of time and energy. It demands that we prioritize, that we choose what matters most at any given moment and pour our essence into it, often at the expense of other areas of our lives. This is not a call to neglect our health, relationships, or emotional well-being, but an acknowledgement that growth and achievement are born from focused attention and disciplined effort, not from an even distribution of our time. The myth of work-life balance is particularly insidious, suggesting that work and life are separate entities, that one can be compartmentalized from the other. This dichotomy is a modern invention, a coping mechanism for those disillusioned with their labor, yearning for escape. Yet work is an integral part of life, an expression of our purpose and passions. When work aligns with our deepest values and aspirations, the need for balance dissipates. We no longer seek to divide our time between work and life. Instead, we see our work as a vital component of our lived experience, a manifestation of our contribution to the world. Consider the farmer, deeply connected to his land, his work not merely a means to an end but an expression of his love for the earth and its bounty. To him, the concept of work-life balance is alien, for his labor is his life, a seamless blend of passion and purpose. This is the essence of high value. Not the superficial markers of success, but the depth of one's commitment to their calling, the willingness to embrace the imbalances of life in pursuit of something greater. As we navigate the complexities of the modern world, let us draw inspiration from the Stoics, embracing the imbalances of life as opportunities for growth and self-discovery. Let us recognize that the pursuit of balance, while well-intentioned, can lead us astray, tethering us to a vision of life that is neither achievable nor desirable. Instead, let us focus our energies on what truly matters, dedicating ourselves to our passions with the fullness of our being, and in doing so, find a deeper, more authentic form of balance, one that is not measured by the even distribution of our time, but by the depth and quality of our engagement with the world. 
unwavering discipline. In the tapestry of modern life where distractions abound and the siren calls of instant gratification beckon at every turn, the cultivation of unwavering discipline emerges as a peculiar yet profoundly transformative habit that distinguishes a man as of high value. This discipline, a stoic virtue, is not merely about the establishment of goals but the steadfast adherence to a meticulously crafted plan to realize these ambitions irrespective of the mundanity or complexity of the tasks at hand. Such relentless pursuit, often misconstrued as excessive rigidity or extremism by the uninitiated, indeed marks the high-value man as a paragon of virtue and determination. The essence of discipline manifests in the quiet hours of the morning, when the world slumbers in complacency, and the disciplined man rises to refine his craft or fortify his body through exercise. It is found in the deliberate choice of long-term prosperity over fleeting pleasures, epitomized by the preference for nourishing sustenance over the ephemeral satisfaction of fast food, or the prudent allocation of financial resources towards investments rather than squandering them on transient fashions. This commitment to both personal and professional development even when traversed in solitude and beset with hurdles, underscores a profound understanding of discipline's true value. A man steeped in discipline perceives time as his most precious commodity, managing it with the precision of a skilled artisan, aware that each squandered moment represents a forfeited opportunity. He demarcates his life into spheres of work, leisure, and self-improvement, ensuring that each day propels him closer to his envisioned pinnacle of existence. To the unobservant eye, such practices may appear odd or superfluous, yet to the man who embodies them, discipline is the clandestine arsenal for attaining unparalleled excellence. Seneca, who asserted, It is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Life is long enough and a sufficiently generous amount has been given to us for the highest achievements if it were all well invested. This sentiment beautifully encapsulates the essence of discipline in the high-value man's life, emphasizing the importance of judiciously utilizing time to foster a legacy of achievement and virtue. In our contemporary existence, rife with distractions and the relentless pace of change, the disciplined man's journey is a testament to the enduring power of Stoic principles. His life is a beacon, guiding others towards the realization that true fulfillment and success are not products of happenstance, but the fruits of a life lived with purpose, integrity, and most importantly, unwavering discipline. As we navigate the complexities of the modern world, the disciplined man's path offers invaluable lessons on the significance of perseverance, the wisdom of foresight, and the virtue of self-restraint, serving as a compass for those aspiring to cultivate a life of high value and profound impact. Lifelong Learning In the realm of personal development and the quest for becoming a high-value individual, there exists a trait that distinguishes the truly exceptional from the ordinary, the commitment to lifelong learning. This characteristic, though it may appear unconventional to some, is a cornerstone in the foundation of a man who is deemed high value. Such a man is driven by an insatiable curiosity and a relentless pursuit of knowledge, understanding that the journey of learning never truly ends with the conclusion of formal education. Instead, he views every moment as an opportunity to expand his horizons delving into a wide array of subjects that stretch beyond the confines of his professional field. This broad spectrum of interest not only enriches his intellect but also fosters the generation of groundbreaking ideas, often born at the intersection of diverse disciplines. The high-value man embraces the role of a learner, even in environments where he might be the least experienced. Rather than perceiving this as a detriment to his ego, he sees it as a golden opportunity for growth and development. He actively participates in workshops, tunes into podcasts, and enrolls in online courses, viewing each of these activities as investments in his intellectual capital. His dedication to self-improvement reflects an understanding that, in a world characterized by rapid change and evolution, personal growth is not just beneficial but essential. Moreover, this commitment to lifelong learning extends beyond the acquisition of knowledge. 
It also encompasses a willingness to reassess and, if necessary, revise his beliefs and opinions in light of new evidence. This adaptability, a hallmark of a truly educated mind, is what sets him apart, transforming knowledge into wisdom. It's a testament to the value of being open-minded and flexible, qualities that are increasingly rare, yet immensely valuable, in today's world. Now consider the story of Leonardo da Vinci, a figure synonymous with the Renaissance man. Da Vinci, despite his numerous accomplishments across various fields, remained a devoted student of the world until his final days. His relentless curiosity and dedication to learning, from anatomy to engineering, underscore the profound impact of maintaining a learner's mindset throughout one's life. Da Vinci's legacy teaches us that the pursuit of knowledge is limitless and that true mastery lies in the continuous quest for understanding. Incorporating this habit into one's life means recognizing that every day offers a new chance to learn something new, to challenge existing perspectives, and to grow. It's about making a conscious effort to step out of your comfort zone, to engage with new ideas, and to embrace the vulnerability that comes with being a perpetual student. This approach not only enriches one's own life, but also contributes to the broader tapestry of human knowledge and progress. In conclusion, the journey of lifelong learning is a defining trait of a high-value man. It is a path marked by curiosity, resilience, and an unwavering commitment to personal growth. By embracing this ethos, individuals can navigate the complexities of the modern world with grace and wisdom, turning every challenge into an opportunity for development. The lesson here is clear. To elevate one's value and impact in the world, one must never cease to learn, adapt, and evolve. As we've journeyed together through these eight weird habits that distinguish high-value men from the rest, it's clear that embracing these traits can set you on a path of unparalleled personal growth and success. These habits, though unconventional, are the very essence of what it means to lead a life of value, purpose, and stoic wisdom. Remember, the journey to becoming a high-value individual is not about seeking approval from the masses, but about forging your own path, grounded in authenticity, discipline, and a relentless pursuit of self-improvement. It's about being a wolf among sheep, leading with emotional intelligence, and embracing the solitude that fosters true growth and understanding. As we conclude this exploration, I invite you to reflect on these habits and consider how they can be integrated into your life. How can you apply the principles of unwavering discipline, lifelong learning, and mastery of silence to navigate the complexities of the modern world? How can purposeful solitude and emotional intelligence enhance your relationships and professional endeavors?